Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,255. If you want to download the sortbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,255 to 1,256 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a column of some messed up dates. First thing is the dates are text dates, and that can cause problems if you're going to do date math or you're going to try and group in a pivot table. We have some extra spaces here. And for the year 2015, October and down here in November, they entered the dates incorrectly. Now, this comes from a huge data set I had to deal with the other day. I just took out a few of the dates that were causing problem for this small data set to look at a potential solution. Now, the first thing is, we're going to have to get rid of that space, so I'm going to use the trim function. I love the trim because it could easily give you a haircut or put you on a diet, but no, really. It just simply removes all spaces except for single spaces between words. So if I were to enter this and double click and send it down, you can see it got rid of the spaces there. Now the next thing is that we need to convert it from a text date to serial number date. Now notice I've highlighted the entire column and the active cell at the top. I'm going to put this active cell into edit mode with the F2 key. Now we could use the date value function. That would convert this from a text date to a serial number date. But you could also do any math operation. Any math operation done on any number stored as text converts it back to a number. So I'm going to add 0. Now watch this. I've edited the formula in the active cell, and I want to populate that new formula all the way down. So I hold Control and Enter. Now there's the actual serial number, number of days since December 31st, 1899. And we certainly don't want to display the dates like that. So now I'm going to go and apply some number formatting. Home, number group, drop down in there, we say short date. Now we have a problem here because Boom, 2016, that's the wrong year. Active cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2. Now I need to find a pattern here. And the pattern I'm going to look at is each one of these incorrect dates without a year has a dash. Anytime I see a dash, I want to join the year 2015 to the end. So inside trim, I'm going to take that, whatever it is, and I'm going to join it to the if function. Now, the if function logical test needs a true or false. And I'm going to say, hey, true if I find a dash, false if I don't find a dash. Now, the way I can look for a dash is by using the search function. The search function can find text within a, another text string. In double quotes, I'm going to put a dash comma within text. I have to say, hey, please look at that cell right there. Now notice this screen tip is really polite. We're already one, two, three functions in. And each time I switch to a new function, that screen tip changes. Within text, close parentheses. Now wait a second. That logical test right there, notice we're, we're in the if function screen tip here. Search is going to find that dash and tell us the position in this text string. For a text that doesn't have a dash, it'll return an error. So what I really want is I want to say, is the result of search, is it a number? So I'm going to say, is number. So that whole search is inside of is number. I very carefully come to the end. Now in the logical test, is number will deliver true or false. For this, it'll deliver false. Down here, it'll deliver true. Watch this. Now I'm going to come very carefully to the end. And to get to the value of true, I type comma. The value if true is going to be in double quotes dash 2015 and double quote. Now that's the value if true. Now notice I put a dash. We had a dash here before the month. So I'm going to have one after the month too. Very carefully, I'm going to click in the value if false, comma, is going to be double quote, double quote. That is a zero length text string, which will add nothing to the end of that. Now, close parentheses. And notice now in the text, if I click that text argument there, it's the whole thing. It's the actual text date. And then this if function that will only put dash 2015 when it finds a dash in the date. Now, ready? I'm going to populate 
this new formula all the way down by holding Control and Enter. And it looks like we have all of our dates correct. F2, all right, we'll see you next trick.